Hello. In this video, we will learn how to answer questions on file handling in Python. Now, files are nothing but information stored on computer or your phone or any device, like videos, images, documents, etc. At a broad level, files are divided into two types: text and binary. So, first question is, what is the difference between them? Text file is human readable as it is written in ascii format while binary file is not human readable as it is written in the format of zeros and one in text file each line is delimited by end of line whereas in binary file we do not have any end of line text files can be opened in notepad and usually have .txt extension binary files need some specific app to open it like word to open dot doc file media player for video audio files etc now when a question is asked on files it will typically either be read a file and do something or write to a file or append some information to a file so the first step is that if we need to work with a file we need to open the file in python you open the file using the given syntax when we open a file it returns to us a file handle what is this file handle when we call the open command it returns to us a file object or reference to the file which is used to carry out any subsequent operation on the file like read or write now within the open command we give the file name which we want to open how does your program find the file if the file is in the same directory where your python file is kept you can directly use the file name or if you are opening the file to write it will create the new file in the same directory where your code file is this is called as relative path as it is relative to your python file another way is absolute path where you give the full path name with drive and directory and then the file name with extension this is also one of the questions which is asked what is the difference between absolute and relative path now what are these modes modes tell if the file is open for reading writing or appending you could get questions around differentiating them so let's understand them well if during file opening you specify r then the file is opened in read mode this is also the default option so if you do not specify anything then the file is open in read mode here file must exist otherwise we will get io error next type of mode is w mode which is for writing if you specify w then if the file exists it will overwrite it if the file does not exist it will create it next type of mode is a which is for append this is another form of write mode but here if the file exists then the data being written is appended to the end now in all of these modes if you put b then the file is opened in binary mode in all of these modes if plus is added then the file is opened for read plus write mode now what is the difference between r plus and w plus both sound to do the same thing read plus write or write plus read there is a difference in r plus file must exist otherwise it gives an error in w plus or a plus if the file does not exist it will create it whenever we open a file after doing all the processing remember to close the file as well the syntax for close is as shown make sure you read the file before you close otherwise your read operations will fail now that we have learned how to open and close a file let's come back to kind of programs that can be asked now the programs you are asked would typically be of three types one is where you are asked to do something at character level like how many upper case characters or spaces or digits are there or replace character c with capital c and display on the screen the second kind of programs are word level like count how many time letter me in 
and appears in the file or replace a word with another word and write in a new file the third kind of programs asked are at line level like what is the longest line display all lines along with the line number write only lines which start with letter t to another file it's important that you are able to distinguish these three as how you read the file is going to depend upon it if you are asked to do something at character level you will call read function this function reads the whole file into a string you can then iterate through the string to do whatever processing is requested if you are asked to do something at word level you will call read and then you will call read dot split this command will give you a list which will have each word in the file as a separate data member you can then iterate through the list to do whatever processing is requested next if you have to do some processing at line level you will call read lines function it reads the file and convert it into list of strings where each item is one record or row of the file till end of line so what is the difference between read and read lines read reads the whole file into a string while read line reads file into a list of strings so each line or record is a separate line item in the list similarly to write into a file we have two commands write and write lines write writes string into a file while write line writes list of strings into a file so to summarize what we have done till now we have learned how to open the file in three different modes and then to call read write function depending upon the program asked let's now actually solve programs using this first are character level programs let's take an example program count all the uppercase letters that are present in file input.txt here we will first write the open command to read then we will call read function which will give us the entire file in a string now we will do our processing here we will first set a count variable to 0 first then we will iterate through the string we will check which letters are uppercase and accordingly increment the count once we are out of the loop we will print the count do remember before you exit the program you need to call the close function to close the file too now this program you can edit to count digits or to count spaces or to count vowels or to count any specific characters etc now let's look at programs which ask us to do some processing at word level like write a program which counts word in and the in the file input.txt here we will open the file first and then call read.lower.split since we need to be case sensitive we have called the lower function over here so that we can count words of any mixed case this will give you list which has all the words in the file now we will first set the count to 0 then we will iterate through the list inside the loop we will compare to in and the and increment the count once we are outside the loop we will print the count this program can be edited to find any other word as per the question if the program is to find the longest word you will set an empty string outside the loop and then check for the length of word which is longer than the one you have saved if it is longer you will save the longest word in i this will iterate through the entire list and once you are out of the loop you can print the longest word now let's look at third type of programs where we process line at a time here the program could be to copy all records or lines which start with t from file x.txt to y.txt here we have to first open two files one for reading and another for writing since we see that we have to do processing line wise we will use read lines which will give us a list of all lines in the file now we will iterate through this list and inside the loop 
we will check if the first character is t if yes then we will use the write function to write to the other file once we are out of the loop we will close the file now this program could be edited for different variations of the program like pick all lines starting with the word the then inside the loop you would have used split on the line and then compared the first element it could also be a program which contains some word let's say contains the word the then you would use count function to check if the word exist if you want to solve more problems like these you can visit my website for lot more questions on python good luck